made his first public appearance in almost 10 years, one of the most distinguished filmmakers of our time. Please welcome Henry Murphy. So, 10 years is a lot of time. What have you been up to? I've been around. I sure know you've been busy. I'm sorry? For those of you who don't know, you're writing a memoir. Oh, yes, right, of course. I, I guess we should talk a little bit about that. Right? Uh, as a huge fan of your films, I don't know why you'd be concerned so much about your ego. My ego? Sorry, I didn't... No, 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 no. My, my ego? Since when was this interview about my ego? I apologize. No, 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 I think you meant exactly what you said. And honestly, I don't really like the way that you've been talking to me this entire time. So, fuck you and fuck off! Not your best move, Mr. Murphy. What the f What happened? Where are we? Don't do that. You know where we are. I feel sick. Maybe you are sick. Would you stop with that? The cryptic shit? I mean, who even are you anyways? Pardon my manners, Mr. Murphy, but normally the interviewer asks the questions. Why don't you take a seat? Are you ready to talk? Okay. Can we go home first? pursued this career in the first place, but then she... she... she killed herself. It was all my fault, and I could have stopped her. I was working on this... film. Uh, it w I was partnered with Paul W.S. Anderson, uh, this guy who made a bunch of action movies. We worked with friends at the time. Um, we were working on a George Bush biopic, and Paul Giamatti was brought in to play Bush. Due to that and the ballooning budget of the film, I was put on a lot of pressure. And at the same time that this was happening, my wife was going through this severe depression. Um, normally, we would be there with each other to just help one another out, you know? Like, things get tough, I'm there. Uh, if things get tough, she's there. That didn't happen this time. Uh, 
I, my focus was on the movie, and I was stressed out, and my focus should have been on her. We had a, we had a bad fight. It was a really bad fight. And she threatened to leave, and I didn't believe her. And what she did, was in the way I intended that she would. Her sibling Paul, and that was how I was getting built for someone. But eventually, it just part of me. When you blame Paul, are you referring to Giamatti or Anderson? One of the worst part was my passion Muse, the one person who reminded me that I could do anything at all, slipped through my fingers like grains of sand. Jesus Christ, what am I even doing here? Why am I even telling you all of this? I'm sensing genuine remorse on your part. Am I mistaken about my judgment? I feel remorse about it every day. Then why didn't you save her? She told you what she was going through, but you did nothing. She told you she needed more from you, but you had nothing to give. All you, she needed was a little bit more of your time. Are, are, are you psychic or something? How do you know all this? I think you should come with me. Hey, what do you know about... You know, I didn't think things were going to end up this way either. I wouldn't have done it this way. but I'm still gonna yell action and yell cut, okay? Action! Three, two, one, eye contact, and action! Uh, uh, no. No goofy, no, no silly! Okay, I get a count- You can't be standing up as the silliest fucking thing ever. Also, no, it, maybe Please. like a more severe tone when you say, you should come with me. No, I think like it was good. Slightly. No, I, I like okay. it. I, yeah, I'll, I'll that's what I want to go with. Okay. Like, three, two, one, and... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, like... <laughs> hey!
Hey! I'm gonna slap your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna slap your ass too. Right, three, two, one, and action. Three, two, one, action. Okay. Like, not everyone has blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, like, what? I'm not sure if I'm considered blonde anymore. Like, medically, I'm considered ginger. <gasps> Greg, <laughs> Greg, please, I need to see this, Craig. It'll, it'll just be me. <laughs> oh! Did I tell you about a weird guy recently who, he's like, uh, telling me that I broke my nose? Yeah, it looks uh, well. You're in the way, so I don't really know. Something's <laughs> in the way. <laughs> Greg, come back. Psst, psst, psst. Greg, come on. Swipe her now. Swipe her. <laughs> Greg, there's still very obviously a PS5 in the shot. Okay. The gargoyle. I have a new okay. plan. The room will change it so that it cuts on the action, and then it the action. Follows through to the next shot, which will be from where Kira is sitting right now. My feet are in the shot, should I put They're shot? not in the shot, Greg. They're never <laughs> the going to be in the shot. Using the hair bag. Yeah. Okay, Google, who's Paul Dano? No. According to Wikipedia, Paul Dano is an American racing driver in the Indy car. We did it with it! Greg just wants to Andy work. sitting Why back down. Greg, Greg do you like That's have some thought. Elmer's glue or something? Like oh, this is Dave this is David <laughs> Gober too. He fakes all those fucking laughs. Sorry? What's That's the battery going on? Yeah, what's battery all we're saying? Is, Would you like a bottle it's of water? Two out of three bars. <laughs> okay, okay, good. It's a bit rude to stab me with this knife in it. <laughs> I'm gonna cap that. Right, bit sad, isn't it? Bit sad, isn't it? Hi, mate. So I'm gonna cap that. Cheers, mate. You understand? Cheers, mate. Okay, well, I've had some ideas for like some shots, so I could get. Look, look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna cap for three, okay? Three, two, one, action. You like broke your, <laughs> you broke your whole ass arm, like. Yes. <laughs> It was, exactly. we, we it was pain. Ham on it. We need to go ham on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. Mean, that's that's literally cub. We literally <laughs> we slapped his mustache off. Did you see he, that? He well, right? Yeah. Because yeah, we couldn't is. figure it, how to put it on, and then Fuck Miles put it on. Okay. Oh, there's a fly. Everyone shut up. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Don't make me get the Greg spray. What was it like to work on this project? Ooh, um, <laughs> it was the first time, um, it was, wasn't my first short film, but it was definitely one that I, okay, the first one that I did was for school, but uh, I wasn't getting graded for it, but I was helping a friend out for school. But this one was the first one that I kind of just was like, okay, why not? You know, getting the experience. When you came to me over Instagram, you told me that you were looking for someone, and I was like, okay, why not, you know? Get the experience. It's been fun. Who would you say your influences are as a director? Uh, that's sort of like a really long list, but I don't know. It's always who I'm watching at the time, like in terms of what I'm doing. I read a lot of books, and you know, I've read David Lynch's books, so I guess I'm sort of like nerd in that way. And I read uh, Sidney Lumet's book, which was really good, called Making Movies. So I try to sort of like, whenever I read something, it's like it becomes part of me. It's like part of my brain and I just sort of like adapt those principles I guess uh so yeah I get Sidney Lumet would be David Lynch because I watched a lot of his stuff like recently in recent memory fuck you no it's uh I I also Stanley Kubrick is always there in my heart he's the reason I'm into movies in the first place Pain <laughs> about uh working on the production for this Bro, film uh like a brief like like pseudo suicidal <laughs> well you know I like uh I, I, I like. I liked. Uh, I liked seeing uh, you and Andy uh, perform. 
a lot. That was that was really oh interesting. God, um, also, uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I met I met uh, my girlfriend through this, which is I knew great. it. I fucking knew it. Greg, I knew it. Greg, so like doing the makeup for uh, this film. Describe the the mustache process in detail. It was literally just gluing wool to his face. There's not much to say, but I just want to say you're. It, it's like doing makeup on a child. <laughs> I would be telling you to move your face and you move it like a millimeter. You just... I, I, I try my best, please, no. <laughs> I had to grab your face and, and like move it. Uh. It was really fun doing the, the mustache because that's not something... Thank you. It's not often that I have to glue a mustache to someone's face. So it was a good experience for me. Yeah, maybe I should uh, open a mustache business on Etsy. I think that would be really like, okay. successful. The, the mustache was indeed uh, yeah, perfection. Yeah, it, it made you look like Ned Flanders. Oof. You uh, what What was your favorite part of uh, filming the behind the scenes? What was your fa What's your like favorite memory from that? Probably Greg's condom bit. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, screw you. No! no. no. Okay. no. 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 It's over! <laughs> it's over! Ah. Okay, my first question for Greg Hamilton yeah. is uh, why did you make a movie? Uh, why did I make a movie? Um, I just fucking felt like it. Like, honestly, uh, I felt like I've been wasting my time with just, like, some random shit. Uh, wasn't really doing much with it. Uh, I finally decided I had enough. Uh, and an idea just clicked in my head when I was listening to, uh, some, some fucking Kanye West. I know, right? <laughs> fucking Kanye, of all things, had me yeah, thinking Kanye. of this idea. So, um, yeah. Thought of the film. I, uh, went straight to your ass to uh, try and get together. Went to his and uh, bada bam bada boom. We got we got a script made. Uh, we were gonna go into production. Uh, there were some issues. We worked it out and uh, we, we made a movie.